the Ghana Bar Association yeah. by a, 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 a communication has signaled that in 2025, that is next year, yes. all lawyers will not be able to renew their license. That's a practicing license, yes. which all, of course affects you because you are a known litigant. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a known litigant. I defend litigants. litigants. <laughs> or I prosecute matters on exactly. behalf of litigants. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> A lawyer an advocate yeah. in our court and an officer of, of our court, yeah. uh, which of course affects you and my good self. Yeah. The GBA says, and of course they are the the body that facilitates. Should if I should use the word loosely, yeah. the renewal of licenses, that's yeah. practicing licenses. Yeah. So the contention is that they are the, a lawyer cannot renew his oil license yeah. if the lawyer has not participated in a number of hours of continuous legal education. Yeah. We do know that ethically a lawyer and professionally a lawyer ought to every year by means of by way of uh, uh, the rules on ethics yeah. every year has to have a minimum of 12 hours of continuous legal education. The, the new introduction which the GBA is bringing now yeah. is making it tying it tying renewal of license to continuous, continuous legal education. Yes. What is your view of that as a, as a senior at the bar? First of all, under Act 32 mm. that's a legal profession act. Legal professions act. It is the the General Legal Council that is mandated to ensure renewal of licenses. The Ghana Bar Association is more of um, an agent to the General Legal Council to in the issue of licenses. So if you look at the licenses that are issued, it is issued by the General Legal Council, not the Ghana Bar Association. So it's more of a delegated power to the GBA. Now, with respect, forgive me for batting. Is it a delegated power? Because if I say delegated, loosely. I'm using it loosely. Okay, great. Yes, great. I'm using it loosely. Great. Because Whatever GBA does in terms of renewal of license, it is the General Legal Council actually that does it. Now, under the new LI, that is um, LI 2324, Regulation 84 makes it a mandatory requirement that a lawyer undergoes at least 12 hours of continuous uh, or continuing legal education and the same regulation also provides for the council to by a resolution establish the modalities how, the form in which it should take so I ask a simple question is it contemplated that the regular continuing legal education that we participate in is the only recognized continuing legal education that is contemplated by the ally? I do not think so. If, for example, a lawyer decides to pursue further studies in law, it is continuous legal education. So, for me, the act, since it authorizes the council to come up with the form it must take, we have to know. It, the council must come up with that. Then we would know that A, B, C, D will be classified as continuous legal education. For example, in my firm, every Friday, we have continuous legal education. In the firm, every Friday. It is to sharpen our skills as lawyers 
so that no one thinks that right after law school you are employed or you are engaged in the law firm and that is all no you'll be rusty <laughs> and as society evolves you must be the law must evolve with society you must grow with society if not you'll be left behind exactly things as they were in 1990 or 1960 are no longer the same today Through continuous, continuous legal education, you get to you get abreast with the events, the realities of the time. So to me, it is a good idea. But my question is tying it to license. the renewal of license. Does the law allow it? Is that what the law say? So let's that say, is where I have a problem. Let's say you are the GB president. Yes. Or you've been consulted by the GBA. Yeah. What advice will you give to them? I will advise that if we want to tie the continuous legal education with renewal of license, then we must relook really at the LI. The LI must be amended. Amended to state what? To include or to emphatically state that it is mandatory for you to do continuous legal education for 12 hours at least in a year in failing which your license will not be renewed mm. but as it stands now i think there's a problem to 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 to, to and, and what you just said the, the the latter part of this your answer to the advice if you're a consultant to the gpa and go back a story we carried where the former chief justice 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 uh, Inunyebua. Inunyebua, yes sounded the changes to the legal profession act yes. as regards continuous legal education where mm -hmm. he says the bill will provide and make it a precondition yes. of license renewal make continuous legal education or continuing legal education a precondition for license renewal. Yes. So that suggested to me that the Chief Justice, hallowed as he is, in his all his experience and deep legal thinking and mind, yes. contemplated yes. that the GBA or there's no law that makes license renewal conditioned on or promised by continuous legal education. That is, that's it. So the communique and notice and directive by which, of course, would 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 kick in effect next year, because they are looking forward to us having a continuous legal education of twelve hours this year yes. to put us in readiness and for twenty to satisfy the requirements for twenty twenty five. Yes. So for me, the 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 the, the mind and thinking of just the new year, but makes their communication quite problematic for me and yes. difficult for me to swallow. Yeah. Despite the fact that continuous legal education is very important yes. and essential in other jurisdictions, it's, it's, it's what they wish it to be. Yes. It's conditioned on license renewal, is conditioned on pro bono cases yes. and also continuous continuing legal education. Yes. So for me, that 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 is that is my opinion on saying. Yeah. Though I'm not and the one I, in the I spotlight. share I share I share in that opinion. I see. Yes. Because tying or making continuous legal education a precondition for renewal of license, then the law must support it. Exactly. Currently, the law does not support it. It is not stated in the law. Exactly. Yes. I say. Mm. Grateful. Thank you so much.